to dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go for this that one man scored and covered with scars still strong with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable You stand up there for us. Listen, um, you really struggle with nerves. You really struggle with nerves on your very first audition. I you do. didn't seem to be struggling with nerves there, though. How was that? Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah, phenomenal. You enjoyed really that? enjoyed it. Yeah. What's How? changed? Um, I just don't want it to stop. I don't want the feeling to stop. And I do get nervous, and I apologise for that. And I know that it brings vibrato into my voice. And I do, and with progress, it'll stop, I promise. Let's see what the judges made of it. Uh, Piers, let's start with you. Well, Jamie, look, I absolutely loved your audition, and the whole story of you trying to combat these nerves is incredibly inspiring. And I think tonight we really saw you come on this huge stage with millions of people watching and control your nerves. Having said that, I don't think your voice was as good on that performance as it was at the audition. And it's a great shame for me because I love you as a performer, as a guy, but I've got to be honest and say tonight, I don't think it was quite as good. Okay. Amanda, you buzz. It, it's not anything, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad. I tell, I tell you what it is, your voice, you have a good voice, but I just didn't feel comfortable watching you. You're there to entertain me. I have to look at you now. You're there to entertain me. And I was just too, very uncomfortable and very nervous for you. And as a member of the audience and as a judge, I need to be able to relax and just enjoy it. And I, and I didn't because you were so nervous. Okay, thanks, Amanda. Simon, do you agree with Piers and, and Amanda? Well, he's a lot more nervous after you exed him halfway through the song. I mean... Yeah. Amanda. Look, Jamie, I actually thought the last note was very good. Um, but as an overall performance, uh, I don't think it was good enough. Um, and I think you may have to come to terms with the fact that your nerves are always going to hold you back because if you can't do it now I don't know whether you're ever going to be able to do it again and halfway through the song for me it absolutely fell apart and you may have to come to terms with the fact Jamie this is not for you okay. sorry oh, sorry what's your, what's your reaction to that what's um, that's their opinion and I have to respect their opinion mm -hmm. and I respect the fact that Amanda asked me there's no you know there's no problem it's fine, that's their opinion, and I have to respect it, that. It wasn't easy, Jamie. It no. wasn't easy to do that. Well, no. it wasn't being mean. But that's Jamie, okay. you've got, you've got a hell of a guts to get up there and do that. I couldn't do what you just did. Really. Okay. And what, and what we have to remember, of course, is that it's not the judges putting you through, it's down to the public now. And if you would like to see Jamie back here on Saturday for the big final, then the number to call is 09011 3224 04. Don't call yet, you can't, oh, the lives aren't over until we've seen all eight acts tonight. One more time, let's hear it though. For Jamie Pugh!